I'd just like to mention a little point on safety. In a workshop, you've got many sharp and dangerous objects. Power tools that can do severe damage. So, learn how to use them correctly and always follow the safety precautions with them. Never remove safety guards unless you really feel confident with the tool. Protective gear. Goggles, ear defenders, masks, etc. It's a domestic workshop, there is no regulations, but common sense prevails. When you think you need them, use them. Okay, having said that, now let's get on with today's project. Hello again, and thank you for joining me. Um, today I'm going to make something that most joiners throughout the career ends up having to make, quite often during the training process, um, and most DIYers, most handymen like to have a go at, and something that we can all use at some point. We've probably all got plenty of them, uh, and that's a picture frame. But the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to make it from some of the worst type material you can get, a bit of old building wood, just to show you how you can put to use bits of rubbish and how it is possible to get something quite nice, even though you haven't got anything and you don't want to go out buying loads of stuff to do the job specific, specifically for. Um, so it's just a bit of uh, 42, 150 CLS, building timber. And we're going to rip it down and make it into the shapes that we want, mould it, uh, router it out and such, but we'll go through all that one. I was given a picture by the way um, that the boy did when he was in early primary school as an example and she wants a picture frame for it. Now she's got for the weekend or for today at least. Um, so, okay, let's start off with the wood first. First off, just looking at it, we've got a big old nasty knot in there. I don't want that, that's going to be really horrible to work with. So, I've still got enough left. I'm just going to rip it across there and then we'll start working on this bit here. Uh, chop it up into four pieces, that will give us the four sides of the frame. Uh, then we can rebate the back out, put some shape on the front and so on. Okay, rip that down first. Next to the table saw and we'll just rip it into four pieces. Let's just check the dimension first. It should be around 100. Oh, 90, okay. Um, so 45, 40, mm, we're going to get 20 mil out, I should think. Let's set it to 21, see if we can get that. Silly manufacturers, they never realise that you want to go a little bit closer than 25mm to the blade. Why they make these safety guards that you end up having to try your best to get around? I don't know. It's certainly not a safe feature. Okay, 21. I think it's good enough. I'm going to check it No, we're not. Okay, now
Absolutely perfect. All exactly the same size. That's good. Okay, and next I'm going to just rip down the length there to put a chamfer across all four pieces because that's the only moulding the wife wants. She doesn't want anything fancy. So I'll just put a slight tilt on the saw blade there, just 20 degrees is all I'm going to put. And it's moulding up. Bring the blade over. So I've got about 50% of the timber being shaped. That's very nicely. Okay. take a two mil glass, a three mil piece of hardwood and a piece of paper. So if we can take six mil rebate out the back there and taking it in about ten mil. I think we need more than that. We've got 38 mil to play with so it still gives us plenty of space to work. Okay to do that we're going to use the router instead of using a salt table. So we'll set the route station up and then we'll come back to doing that. Set this to 10 mil now for its depth.
or even a router, I highly recommend you put your rear defenders on. Whatever machine you've got, it's going to be loud. Okay, edges are a little bit rough there because the wood's a bit soft, but um, no problem, I can clean that up. Uh, I'll just get out the jointer and run all the pieces through until we've got a nice clean edge there because that's where the glass is going to sit, so I want that to be fitted. Again, another noisy tool. Okay, well that's all the basic shaping done. Before we mite to the corners, let's give it all a good sanding down to the sanding section. Four nice clean pieces of timber there, ready to start making the frame. Before we do the next stage, which will be cutting the mitres, we need to cut a piece of glass. This will determine the actual size of the frame. And the size of that is the size of the picture we want to do. First, let's cover the surface. Any cloth, just to stop any imperfections on the surface from cracking the glass. And a pair of gloves in case the glass wants to get angry with me. Now, 
pot, I'm just using a standard piece of 2 mil greenhouse glass. Good and cheap, about 4 quid in your local glass centre. Um, and you can get, well, depending on the size of the thing, obviously, a few pieces out of that. Just slightly bigger than the paper is what I want. Be there, so we'll use this edge. If the paper will stay still. Okay, I've got myself a little thin piece of um, plywood here, that will do the job. Let's just try the size I want on the glass. Gives a good indication if the wood is square, but won't, it isn't. Using the mitre saw, we can cut the mitres that we require. Use the best pieces of wood that we've got.
Okay, now what I do, put the mitres into position on the plywood, set that they are exactly where I want them to be, mark the other end. Now I should have two exactly the same. That's correct. Now do the same again for the short sections. Okay, everything is now ready. So now let's do some assembly. Simple case of gluing it all up, clamping it together.
okay, so that's now all nice and ready to take out the clamps. Mm-hmm, good fine sanding down, and then ready for some finishing. Okay, and a bit by hand. I'm going to finish it off nicely. Okay, I'm ready to do some finishing. Okay, I'm going to give it a couple of coats of quick drying teak. Now I like quick drying because obviously it means you can wash your bushes out in water.
Okay, leave that a little bit to dry. I'll give it a quick rub over with some fine paper and then give it a second coat. Okay, finished up, and there we have it. One very simple thing.